Today in the shop, we are doing something a little different and brushing up on our computer knowledge and figuring out kind of that whole system again. And we have this scanner here that's going to help us because for the longest time, I have wanted to get ah, cat ET software because we run a lot of cat engines, but then you can't scan everything. Um, or you need a bunch of specific softwares for your Volvo, your cat engines, all the rest. And that's expensive and I was trying to figure out, wow, what's a good way I can get into it and at least kind of read the engine software, um, codes, check things out and maybe get a bit of information back from the ECU because when it comes to a mechanic in the shop, I'm not relying on an ECU and a computer to tell me what's wrong with it. I mean, I can go through all of our equipment and keep it running well, but you can utilize it to make your life way easier and speed up the process of fixing some of these things. So let's take a look at what we got. Ansel, I think that's how you say it. They sent me this scanner and it's good for heavy duty agriculture, construction, um, trucking, that sort of thing. And this is the HD 3600, I believe. And I have opened it up, played around with it a bit, but it comes in a nice case and packaging. And we have got the scanner right here. It's bi-directional, so you can talk to the computer and it can talk to you. It does graphing and it comes with a bunch of different cables. This one hooks up to it. And it's OBD2, you can plug it into your car. I tried that already. And then it comes with a few other cables. Um, a cat cable to hook up to this, which we're gonna try out here in a minute. And then to hook up to my Volvo trucks, just various different pieces of heavy duty equipment, it'll hook up to. Um, and I'm excited it does a bunch of stuff. Because at this point, even if you're not running like the newest equipment, uh, generally you're gonna have some computers, emission systems, all of that sort of thing on your farm or construction, whatever it may be. And this, I mean the whole package, you kind of get an intro to everything. You get the ability to hook up to a lot of things as we'll see when we hook up, it gives you a, just a huge menu of things you can hook up to. But for me I'm excited because it'll hook up to all my cat engines which I think we have seven or eight now at this point, which is crazy. I'm not a cat guy, but somehow we've ended up here. Um, but it also lets me hook up to my Volvo, which is important. We've got two Volvo semi-trucks and they've got emissions. And now like I can command a regen, do all this other sort of things. And that helps a lot because you guys know emissions, it'll shut you down like that. And uh, you got to get into the computer to figure it out. So I think that's awesome. Here we go. We got this thing set up. We got our main cord that always stays hooked up and it is an OBD2 cord and then we hook up whatever adapter we want to make it fit so we got the cat 9 pin in here and we'll swing on over to here see if we can't get it hooked up oh, beautiful and we are running let's see what we can find out we got to boot it up and we are on the main menu here. I haven't plugged it into my Volvo yet actually, which I'm going to do here soon. But uh, I think this one right here, the HD OBD, that's going to be for your heavy trucks. OBD2, obviously your pickup or whatever it may be. And then you just have a list of manufacturers you can go through. And there's some more options on this page. We are in a cat. So we will click on there. Cat 9 pin. Construction 1939. See, I gotta figure out what these things are. I've gotta familiarize myself again. It's been a while since I've done uh, any ECU stuff. It's either this one or that one, though. We'll try them out. Of course, it was the one I didn't choose. It was the CDL. Um, but here we are C9 MT765. It knows exactly what I'm in. We'll click on there and get into the engine. Um, so now you can read your fault codes, read your ECU information, and the thing I'm really excited about is the data stream. Because then you've got a bunch of more subcategories because they can only fit so much information in one. Here we go. Now it's loading everything, and this is where I get excited. 
So obviously the engine's not running because we're in the shop. We'll fire it up here in a minute. But uh, it's got a bunch of different values on that one. You can go through a bunch of them. Here is a bunch more information about your engine. But what I'm really excited about is the graph. Because graphs is where you can learn so much and see how things are actually behaving real time compared to just what it's saying as a number value and how it's changing throughout time. So that's what I really like. Graphs are like number one for me. So we'll fire this thing up and check out how these work. All right, we're reading our, uh, our data. Let's fire this thing up. I'm not sure, it might drop out. Yeah, there it goes. All right, we're back in here, and this would have been so handy a couple years ago on this tractor specifically, because we were having issues with um, low fuel pressures and the engine just running funny, but it took me a long time to figure it out that it was our fuel um, and the pressure specifically because of the relief valve. Whereas this, now you can look at this and be like, hey, our engine wants to have 3,400 PSI of fuel, but we're actually only getting 3,350. That's fine, but if you look at it and say, hey, it's commanding 12,000 PSI and we're only getting six, something's going on. And then you can go into graphing and it is showing us our graph and say, hey, okay, it's only when we go full throttle. Now we got a peak but something's happening, what is it? So I think it's awesome and uh, it'll be super handy for what we're trying to do. So that scanner, it is bi-directional, it has graphing, live data streams, and it can also do emission stuff like force a regen. That's gonna be super handy and I can see myself using it a ton. And there you go, there's the Ansel HD 3600 scanner, and I'm excited to start using it on the farm. I think I have a ton of different pieces of machinery that it can benefit me a lot with. Um, a lot of the times in harvest or seeding, we'll have computers throwing codes or doing funny things, so nice to be able to have the data there. And then I'm really excited for our semi-trucks. You know, every now and then I'll get a call, we're derated, we got an emission problem, and nine times out of 10, it just needs to be hooked up to a scanner, force a regen, something like that, easy, but instead, we're stuck going five miles an hour and have to take it to the shop. So uh, if you guys have a bunch of different equipment but aren't looking to spend thousands of dollars getting dedicated stuff for each piece, this is a good option and I think you should give it a shot. Anyways, I appreciate you guys hanging out. We'll see you on the next one. Also, I almost forgot to mention, we have a coupon code, James30. You can save 30 USD off of that scanner, which, I mean, it's already pretty reasonably priced, and that just helps.